What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth. A couple days ago, my wife and I ran over to Philly to hit an Ikea. On the way back, we stopped at the Morristown Mall. We stopped at a couple Dollar Trees. We hit another game store in the mall. Can't remember what that thing's called, so I'll look that up before I title this video. And when I got home, I had something waiting for me in the mail from A24. It's another haul video. First and foremost, as always, I hope everybody out there is doing well and staying safe. So if you watched my video from yesterday, we did a mukbang from Smashburger, at which point we had gone to two Dollar Trees. Neither one of those places had any movies at all whatsoever. But on the way home, we stopped at another Dollar Tree and they had a whole end cap full of movies. But unfortunately, they didn't have very many horror movies that I didn't have. They did have five. I got one called Jack Goes Home. Got another one called Storage 24. Dark Amazon. The Evangelist, and here's the one that I was the most excited about getting. I've heard a lot of people talking about this, said it was really good. I picked up Sushi Girl, Tony Todd. I've heard a few people say this was really good. One buck, I'll take the chance. All right, there's another store that I mentioned that is inside of the Moorestown Mall. It's a game store. I can't remember what that place is called. I, know, I honestly don't think I ever bothered to look. But if you're watching this video, you've probably already seen the name of that store in the title. So, in that store, I got three things 50% off. I got this Annabelle figure. I think she is the only one in this particular series that I didn't have. Now, mission accomplished. I have them all. So, I picked up Annabelle. Yeah, in this, this series, it was Jack Torrance, The Nun, Michael Myers, and Annabelle. I have all those. And there's another series. It's got, like, Freddy and Jason and who, who cares whatever i got them too all right and also in that store i picked up th actually i picked up three funko pops in that place i got and they're all from the same movie i got wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute no i'm wrong that was that store this store i got these two funko pops these were 50 percent off adelaide wilson from us and the jangly man from scary stories to tell in the dark all right the other store that i went to in that mall was fye and in fye their funko pops were buy two get one 75 percent off and i actually got four of them one of them was behind the counter so whatever i'll do him last these three are all from the movie us i got red and i got abraham and I got Umbre. I will likely do an unboxing video for all of these Funko Pops. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six Funko Pops. The last one I picked up is awesome. I love this thing. It's my second Stephen King figure. This is an FYE exclusive. Stephen King reading a book holding a balloon from Derry or It. I think he's really, really cool. I can't wait to get him out of the box and check him out. All right, so those are the Funko Pops I got at FYE. Also at FYE, I picked up three movies, all three of which were on sale. Excuse me. I got Crimson Peak for five bucks. I did not own this movie. I'm surprised I didn't own this, but Guillermo del Toro, del Toro is awesome. I like his work. Can't wait to check that out. I got a Boris Karloff collection for eight bucks. And this includes Night Key, Tower of London, The Climax, The Strange Door, and The Black Castle. So five movies for eight bucks, all Boris Karloff. Thought that was really, really cool. And finally, I got the last season of the Bates Motel that I did not have. It's a used copy, marked down from $21.99 to $16.99, the fifth and final season of the Bates Motel. The package looks like somebody was trying to get at it but whatever so that is now complete the last thing that i got that day was sitting on my counter when i got home and it's something that i ordered from a24 i have been warned by both b 
Ben from Cadaver Club and Phil from Phil's Creepy Vids to be very careful with this thing that it's it's delicate or easily dirtied so they said to, they actually were making a joke and said to wear gloves when you open this thing so I'm gonna be right back Was that careful enough? I think I was careful enough. Ridiculous. All right, so the, yeah, I got the director's cut of Midsommar. This movie is fantastic. I love this movie. Ben from Cadaver Club actually told me that this was his favorite release of the year. Couldn't wait to get my hands on this thing. My mother gave me 50 bucks for Christmas and with shipping, this actually came out to be exactly 50 bucks. So this is what I intended to get with that Christmas money and it worked out perfect. So this is still wrapped in the plastic. I definitely am going to do an unboxing video of, of uh, Midsommar. Maybe I will do the unboxing video as well as watch the movie and do those together. Unbox this uh, collector set, review the collector set, display or showcase the collector set, as well as give my thoughts on the movie. I'll do all that in a uh, separate video. And what I thought was really cool is it actually came with this little postcard from A24, uh, A24 with Stephen Yen from uh, The Walking Dead fame. So apparently he's going to be in an upcoming A24 film. Have to look into that. I have no idea what that is. The paperwork says Minari note card. Not sure exactly. I don't know if that's the name of the movie. But it's on the uh, invoice or the packing slip as being in this package. So, whatever that movie is, I'm looking forward to that. Ari Aster's two movies that I've seen are Hereditary and Midsommar. They were both fantastic films. So, obviously, I'm going to check out Minari, whatever, Stephen Yen from The Walking Dead. All right, that's enough. I'm rambling at this point. I'm going to get out of here. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Later, folks. Happy Friday.